My little lathe has both Z and X axis motorized and controlled by this Nano ELS H4 metal lathe controller. So let's use it to make a sphere. First I will make the right hemisphere. For that I will set the limits for my cutter 15mm to the front and 15.4 to the left. I need to add 0.4 to the left because my cutting tool I believe has a 0.4mm cutting radius. And here I switch to the ellipse mode because I'm using negative pitch. It will do the right hemisphere. This is necessary so that when I'm cutting the stock the backlash for the cross slide is not being taken out just by the effort of cutting. So if we would be cutting with a positive pitch it would be coming from right to left and so kind of cutting into the back and so the stock would be actually pushing the tool out and would be able to take the backlash. So this is why we're cutting with negative pitch from left to right. And as you can see it doesn't take much time. We are already almost done for the right hemisphere. You can control how fast it goes. You can see the pitch is set to 0.1 mm, so if you set it to half of that, it will go twice as slower, and it also matches the rotation of the spindle. Now this is the last pass, and you can already see the sphere forming. Now let's move into position to cut the left hemisphere. I want to move 15 and then 2.6. So the 2.6 is calculated by width of my cutter, which is 3, minus the corner radius. Now again I'm setting the depth of the ellipse to 15, and to the left we have to travel 15.4, so that in total we are at 18, and so our sphere would actually be a sphere and not an ellipse. This time I'm using positive pitch so that we cut the left hemisphere. Now obviously this style of cutting might not go so well in steel. For plastic it's quite usable. If the material would be very hard, I would first make a deep groove on the left and then do the left hemisphere. Now there are a lot of ways to make a sphere using the H4 controller. Perhaps the easiest one is to use the lathe code, which allows you just to specify the part you want to cut using a simple text description, and then it will control the cutter for you. Pretty nice finish, and the size is a smidge oversize, I think it's um, 30.15 on average. I'm not quite sure why we have this side size difference, perhaps my math is wrong a little, 